Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Sam Bowie, Director of Retail Frame for Jerry's Artorama. I'm here with Amy Dean, who is our resident artist. Um, and we are showing off today the diploma frames that we have just developed so that uh, they're ready-made diploma frames. I kind of got this one apart, so we'll start from there. But anyway, uh, these are the frames that we have uh, developed for standard size diplomas. Uh, we have two different sizes uh, for eight and a half uh, by 11 diplomas and 11 by 14 diplomas. Um, most schools fall under those two sizes. There are some odd sizes out there, but we can also do custom framing. All well. us liberal arts people have to have ours custom framed because they're the little ones. The little ones? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, well, this one in the liberal arts one, this is uh, uh, a bug degree from... Uh, <laughs> Master of Etymology. <laughs> from NC State University here in Raleigh, North Carolina, where we are located right now. And, uh, Go Pack! This is one of our, um, this is the president of retail's daughter. She just finished her master's degree. And so we're gonna frame this for her in one of our Jerry's frames. And uh, so we have, like I said, we have two sizes, eight and a half by 11, 11 by 14. We have two styles of frame. This is the silver. And then we also have a black with a gold lip for the diplomas that have a gold seal. This one has a silver seal, so we're gonna use this one. And the paper is kind of warm as well. So we'll get started on showing you guys how to do this. The instructions are on the face paper. So we'll show you that. Katie, you wanna get a shot of that? So all your instructions on how to do it are right here. But to make it easier for you guys, you can just watch this video and you'll see how simple this really is. So I'm gonna get started on putting it together. So I'll just leave that right there. This is your backing board. You don't need the glass yet. We'll keep that there. Now this is UV glass, so you always keep the top side facing up because that is the side that bounces the UV rays off. And this is the double mat. All right, the first step we wanna do is we wanna put the mounting strips, which on the face paper you saw the little tabs right here. These are the mounting strips. I'll show you how to install those. And I have them in my pocket. They come in the frame in a, in a pack, but I actually put them in, took them out and put them in my pocket. So what I'm gonna do first is figure out the centering of the diploma. So what we'll do here, and I'm, since it's not mine, I'm gonna handle it very carefully by the edges. Smuts on there. And it's kind of easy to see because there's a little bit of, it's a little bit less opaque so you can see where it's centered up. And Katie, does that look centered to you? Okay. All right, so we get it centered. We had the mat laid face down. We have the diploma laying face down. And these mounting strips, they have a little adhesive tab. It, if I can find it, there it is. It's a little piece that peels off like this. This tab goes over the diploma to lock it in place. This sticks to the backing board. You don't want to put any adhesive on the diploma. So what I'm going to do is just anchor the diploma down, bump that up flush, kind of in the center, and we'll do it on all four sides. And just drop it down right there and that should keep that from sliding down and we're going to do it on three sides and I'll just verify that everything is straight come in and I just kind of slide till it bumps up against the paper and drop it down this is very easy to do guys it doesn't take a lot of ingenuity to figure out how to do it guys anchored and then we just have one more then I'm gonna turn it upright and we'll verify that everything's straight should be okay all right so how are we looking looks good mm -hmm. all right so that's basically how you mount it we put it down onto the board put the glass back on top uh, and try and cut yourself. And when you're doing this, would you take something to clean both sides of the glass? The glass should be fairly clean. The, the, the piece on the end of the side that's on the inside will be clean because it was cleaned at the warehouse when they built everything. Um, but what I would recommend doing is getting it all together and then, mm -hmm. and then cleaning okay. it afterwards. Cause you have the frame around it. If you use Windex or something like that to clean it, you don't want it open on the edges so that maybe moisture could get around the cleaner oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. and it could leave little spots on the outside of the mat or worse on the diploma, but we can clean it up. There's a little spot right there and then it'll come right up. And you want to make sure the white mats always have like little bits on there. So you want to be careful about that. Didn't get it all, but that's okay. 
and then we line it all up. Now the frame has flexi points. I had already bent them out to get everything out, but these are little guys. You can see how that bent down and bent back up. It all comes in with it bent down, holding everything in. All you gotta do is bend them back out. And I would use a uh, screwdriver or something to bend them out. I use my finger, but sometimes they can get under your fingernail and it really hurts if you push too hard. But you get them flat against the edge so that you can put it all back together. Flip it over, line everything up. And it's a good idea to get this over on the edge so you can push it in. And there we go. All right, see I got everything, that looks really nice. Got it all in there, flip it upside down, and you could again use a screwdriver, I'm gonna just use my hands. Come in with the flexi points, and I'm gonna do them on the four sides. First, in the middle, and the reason why I do this is just in case there's a lot of uh, dirt might get under there. I haven't gone all the way around. I can flip them over and verify that, yeah, we look good. No specks or anything like that. And then we can finish the whole thing up by just dropping these little guys down. So basically we're all done. It's all ready to go on the wall. It'll hang up nice and there. The plum is not gonna shift. It's anchored in by those mounting strips. Now, uh, do these come with hardware for the back? They or? do, they do. Okay. Um, I did not have it's, the yeah, it's not re it's, it's finished, it's framed, but it's not ready to hang. It's not ready to hang on the wall. What they do, because this is such a thin molding, uh, what we do have is what's called a sawtooth hanger. And that's just a little piece of metal with two holes that you uh, nail the nails in through the holes and it's got the little teeth on there and all you do is put a nail in your wall and the saw tooth will just hang right onto the uh, onto the nail. I don't have that with me. I just wanted to show you guys basically how to put it in there. That's more difficult, especially looking at the instructions that I've laid out than it is just to put a saw tooth on and hang it on the wall. But basically that's how you fit them into our diploma frames. And uh, these are affordable and they are archival. This is a buffered acid free backing. This is a UV protected glass, so it will not fade. Your mats are acid free, so they will not fade either. And you have something that you worked on for four years, or in my case, six. <laughs> Master's two and a half and three. Two and a half and three on that, yeah. I was a total, she, Shawnee was probably in school about six years total to do all this, I guess. And, uh, but yeah, and it's all ready to go and you can proudly display it in your office, home, or. Uh, wherever you'd like, but that's how our diploma frames are put together. Um, the, like I said, the instructions are all here on the face paper, but we figured it'd be easier to show a video hands-on to let you guys see how it's done and how easy it really is to do. And uh, um, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you guys at Jerry's.